जी संस्कार टिल द टाइम वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट क्वालिफिकेशन ऑफ बीइंग चीफ जस्टिस एंड जस्टिस ऑफ सुप्रीम कोर्ट देन वी डिस्कस अबाउट टाइम पीरियड फॉर विच ही इज असाइंड एंड व्हाट इज काइंड ऑफ अ मेथड बाय विच ही कैन सब्सटिट्यूटेड फ्रॉम इट्स ओन पोस्ट और हाउ दे गेट रिजाइन और दे apply for resignation or write resignation or get punished or something like that in what situations the next topic is the power and jurisdiction of supreme court the supreme court of india passes more power and has a vast jurisdiction in comparison to any other country of the world it is jurisdiction can be divided into original jurisdiction appellate jurisdiction and advisory jurisdiction original jurisdiction in this particular jurisdiction whatever the thing are represented in high court and the judge gives uh, judgment at the end of hearing this conversation when a court has a power to directly give judgment after hearing a case such a power is known as original jurisdiction and the supreme court has a power to make decision regarding the case which no other courts has under this jurisdiction the following party should be invoiced in void whose conflicts are resolved by supreme court first one it has the power to settle dispute between government of india and one or more states second one it has a power to resolving power of resolving difference of opinion fights or conflict between government of india and one or more states or another on the other side one or more states like distribution of assets it has complete power to give judgment regarding fights and quarrel between state and states supreme court has a right to give judgment concerning any set of union government or constitutionality it has a power to protect and preserve the fundamental rights of the citizen of india moreover it is empowered to issue of habeas corpus mandamus or order of prohibition in any circumstances if supreme court thinks that basic rights are uh, not followed or be somebody is no it is violation of basic rights in that case it could be prohibited there is another name of it also which is habeas corpus memendus memendumens this is also a procedure or it is called order of prohibition something is not happened yet but there is a chances of happening then uh, that particular person or things are prohibited it is not in jurisdiction of supreme court to settle dispute related to distribution of river water between state 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 states or states states atlo bodu lakhani su jaru khabar che be be khali may be gujarat ane rajasthan vache hoy ke amne river nu water je che e distribute karvu che athva gujarat rajasthan madhya pradesh tran vache hoy athva maharashtra pan hoy so it could be state and other states state and only other state lots many states to another state or many state to another many states so water tribunals is also there for this particular problems for water appellate jurisdiction three types of appeal can be made in supreme court under appellate jurisdiction case of constitutional interpretation constitution ne constitution ne interpret karvani andar koi gadbad hoy to appeal against civil cases marsona je regular problems hoy एने रिलेटेड है बिजनेस वगैरह ने अपील अगेन्स्ट क्रिमिनल केसेस सो दीज थ्री आर कंस्टिट्यूशन इंटरप्रिटेशन खोटू थाय कोई सीविल केसेस है एना क्रिमिनल केस फॉर दीज थ्री अपील केन बी डन इन सुप्रीम कोर्ट 
any person can approach a supreme court against the judgment order or writ given by high court on any case only if a certificate is issued by high court along with judgment the case involves any matter pertaining to the constitution which has been falsely interpreted or contain any important question of law and hence the petitioner can appeal to supreme court for the same if such a if any such a certification is given by high court and if petitioner approach supreme court then in such a circumstances if supreme court finds that any constitutional right is violated then it is accepted then it can accept the petitioner's appeal but in any case any of the circumstances only a petitioner who is a party in working of high court can approach supreme court only under the reason that false judgment is issued by high court or any other court so basic requirement that you cannot directly go to supreme court you can go to high court then you apply uh, uh, first of all if you are getting justice which is not same as the constitution or some constitutional rights is violated into that then also if the high court of uh, high court's judge writes you that there is a constitutional uh, mis uh, interpretation or something like that then only with the same one petitioner can go to or can challenge the decision made by high court and if supreme court thinks that there is a uh, misinterpretation or there is a lack of understanding and something like that then only it could be carried out in supreme court second one in the case of civil cases if high court certifies that case involves important question of interpretation of law and that the case holds general importance and it is necessary that supreme court decides then appeal can be made in supreme court judgment of any civil case involving sum of rupees 1 lakh or more can be challenged in supreme court so at that particular killer time like at 1948 afterwards there is a value of 1 lakh rupees so therefore anything uh, civil cases any uh, looting or something like that that is above 1 lakh rupees can be challenged into the supreme court Uh, where there is a if one thinks that there is a uh, mis, uh, there is a problem in constitutional law according to law this thing is right but it is uh, driven by this person in a wrong way or somebody is mis uh, using their power or something like that that means it is non constitutional the basic right of other person if it is violated third one in case of criminal case if any lower court has equated the criminal from capital punishment and in that case the high court has given capital investment to criminal then it such a circumstances an appeal can be made in supreme court the supreme court can review its own judgment it can transfer cases that are going on this uh, on on in other courts to the supreme court the parliament can increase the power of supreme court by framing act so if certain criminal cases are there capital in punishment is also there and in under any circumstances if he or she wants to apply appeal in supreme court the supreme court can review the judgments and it can transfer cases that are going to be in other court to the supreme court
and if there is any help is needed then parliament will help jurist by framing certain new law for example uh, when there was a no facebook or something like that at that time we did not want or need of cyber acts okay but as uh, this uh, a, a network uh, network usage uh, or uh, let's just say internet usage etc increased cellular phone call has been cheaper and then after this kind of many situation wheels we uh, note like uh, somebody calls you and con continuously calls you and harass you or uh, use miss for uh, uh, does misbehavior or send you constantly uh, images or something like that then there is even a law which you can file in uh, like you can uh, file complain against this person in a police station or you can fight against it in a, in a court so, so things like that was not there but if there is a cyber crimes are there then one has to frame a law so in this way parliament helps jurisdiction or the procedure of it third one is advisory jurisdiction if the president feels that any particular matter or a question holds importance from point of view of public welfare then president can take the counsel of supreme court by sending the matter of a matter or question to supreme court for consideration under the provision the president can avail counsel from supreme court in the question pertaining to law reality and constitutional interpretation or relevancy of any bill but if the supreme court finds it unnecessary to consider or give opinion on a sent matter it can send back to president and it is not mandatory for the president to follow the advice or a advice or console given by the supreme court so certain time if pres uh, president want to make certain decision and he needs what are jurisdiction thought on this particular process he can ask for them they may send console or they may answer the, those particular question or they may advise on it but it is not necessary for president to follow whatever is asked by the or console which is given by the jurisdiction court of records court of records holds an evidential value when any record from the court are presented no objection can be taken against it the judgment and decisions of supreme court are considered as a permanent document and all are bound to accept it they are used as reference by subordinate court while giving judgment and decision any court showing its contempt or disapproval can be punished okay first thing no one can challenge the judgment given by the supreme court next thing is whatever decision which is made by supreme court are recorded as a evidence and these can be useful to lower courts like district court sub ordinate courts these are important documents which could help these people to make judgment next would be high court in next segment that's all for now thank you